Hello and welcome to series three on emotional regulation. Let's imagine that you could actually regulate your emotions. Imagine never getting angry anymore. Imagine never blowing up anymore. Imagine never reacting badly anymore. Imagine that for a level of super calm. See, when you emotionally regulate, it becomes a whole new superpower that most people do not understand and it is absolutely human magic. The steps in processing your emotions are actually quite easy. The first one is to identify what emotion it is I'm having. So what feeling is it? Is it anger? Is it happiness? Is it anticipation? Is it anxiety? What is it? So understand, then identify the source. Why am I feeling like that? Where did that come from? That's obviously coming from my subconscious mind and therefore does that need work? So where's that coming from? Perhaps that's childhood programming or perhaps that's a conversation you had with someone else that triggered you to think in a certain way. But that is where I am telling you now, you can turn the magic switch on this stuff. That's the human power. That's how you do this stuff. So identifying the source, identifying the source is the important bit. So now we're on to step three of this. So you have identified the emotion, you have then understood the source. The next thing you're gonna do for me is validate that feeling. So have you valid reason to be hurt or angry? Could somebody else have reacted in a slightly different way, do you think? Is there something valid there? Sometimes there will be, sometimes there won't be. And that's where you start to get the value and the insights into what could be happening in your subconscious mind that causes you problems regularly. So far for me, you've done your identifying the emotion, then you've done the understanding the source. The next piece is around understanding how to reframe that emotion. So now we have identified the emotion, we've understood the source, and now we've validated whether it is or it isn't a real feeling and verified. And now we're on to expression. Expression is the best bit, and that's how you treat emotion. That's how I need you to process emotion to get it into you, understood, and out of you again, so that you can stay healthy. So how do you express emotion? You either talk to someone who understands how to listen, which there are very few of, or you write it down, and they call that journaling. Three journals is what I would recommend for you. A success journal where you write what you're proud of. A to-do list where you're getting your fabulous ideas and you're capturing them. And the other one is the difficult emotions journal. And write, I feel this because this. The next series is going to be about the next step. And that's about how we move from here. So now you're going to be processing emotion and you're flying at it.